How's it going, everybody? It's Sunday. Sunday fun day. Sunday, aka whatever the date is, because I'm not recording this on Sunday. <laughs> My immersion. Oh. Welcome to the brand new series. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm calling this yet. Um, I know I need some of your guys' help. I'm thinking something to do with like Sunday spin, spinning Sunday, 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 spin, 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 spin to win. I don't know. Because look, I wasted my money on a um those annoying things. It's like, all right, come on, come on, spin to win. You too can win a free blah blah blah. And you're knowing. Oh, whoops. You actually got the very limited chance. Uh, we own you now. That's right. Your soul is ours. It is a spinning prize wheel. And the prize for us, my friends, is the content. So let's, you know what? Hey, let's start out today's episode with, with a spin. What, what are we going to get? Spin! Uh... Like, oh! Looks like it's the content. That's crazy. With such a small percentage chance of landing on that. That's well, it looks like yeah, I was about to put the headphones on. Looks like in today's video, it's the content. This was um this was a joint effort. We did this together. Didn't really know what to do because literally we can just put whatever we want up there, spin it, and then whatever it lands on, you know, we could focus that episode around it or Maybe we put up a couple things and we spend it a couple times and do whatever it is. And I mean, it could, you know, it could be anything. Wow me. Um, I may or may not put it up. If I put it up, it means I'm willing to do it. So in the comments below, literally just say a word or a phrase or an action. It can be something I need to do. It can be something vague. It could be like eat three raw eggs. I probably won't do that. I probably won't put that up there. But like, that's an example, right? It could be me doing something. It could be me going somewhere. It could be me playing something. Or, or like, literally, you could just put like brown. And I would write the word brown. And then we, I'd get on brown. I'd be like, all right, well, I have to figure out what that means. I guess we'll run with that. Every now and then, we can put a couple too that's like giveaway, an actual giveaway. And then maybe I'll do a giveaway that episode or like, um... Like fan mail, like I have some fan mail here. So like maybe if we land on a fan mail, we'll open one for this video or I don't know, sky's the limit, right? So I want to just make something a little bit more personal that feels like we're connecting a little bit more. Feels like it's more of a discussion, you know? Um, we're getting to know each other and talk with each other more, a little more intimate, not just a regular old gameplay video. So I don't know, maybe this is a terrible idea. Maybe like Mr. Fruit, this is the stupidest thing. <laughs> I'd be like, wow, you could have said that a little nicer. I hope I can show this. I won't show any addresses or anything. Uh, this is, okay, I got to show the penmanship though. Is that, that has to be printed. Look at that. It, I think it's a font that they print, but at the same time, I don't, that could be someone's handwriting. That's nuts. That's my PO box, by the way, if you want to send some. Looks like it's somebody's Etsy shop. I didn't order anything, so let's see what we got here. You know, if I'm going to do more of this, I need to get a letter opener. This is already the best thing ever. Oh, look at this. Corgi stickers. Oh, and that's their Etsy shop. So maybe they're just trying to advertise. You know what? Congrats. Um, but no, this must just be some fan. And they know I have two little corgis. And by the way, they hate this thing. I had to close the door for this video. Because I, I spun it once, and I'm not kidding you. My life flashed before my eyes. I thought they were going to eat me alive. Look, they even drew Olive and Appa. And you want to know why I know? Because Olive, very rare. She's um, red-haired. But she doesn't have any of that white streak that goes above her nose. Whereas Appa has this derpy... He's all over the place. That's so cute. Thank you. Mr. Fruit, thanks for blessing us with your Among Us content. Watching you and your friends play makes me feel a little less lonely since I am work for hire as a freelance artist. I wanted to send you some stickers that look like Olive and Appa. Hope you like them. Happy holidays to you and your fam, Chorus. Thank you very much, Chorus. Hope you had a happy holidays. 
Um, hopefully you didn't find me exclusively from Among Us because you're probably not going to watch this video because you've probably already given up on my content. Just kidding. Actually, I might address that in this video. We got one that looks like olive. And of course, the tricolor that looks like Appa. <gasps> and then this is easily the best space corgi. And it's holographic. I might even, you know, for the inaugural, I might even put this astronaut corgi on the middle of this. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Got a cool little, little green one here with some stickers. Let's see what we got here from Washington. Hey, I've been there. Stay safe this holiday season. Tip number 195. Giant monsters are attracted to bright decorations in large cities. So stay inside for obvious reasons. Definitely only because of Godzilla. If you didn't know this monsters, this Godzilla incarnation is named COVID. Wishing you and your loved ones a safe and happy holiday season and a wonderful new year from Washington State. Happy holidays. Roxanne, I won't say your last name. Thank you, Roxanne. P.S. Thank you so much for your streams and videos, especially over this bizarre year. They've helped add some light and fun when we've been working through family members' cancer treatment this year, and we've been having a great time watching them together. Well, Roxanne, thank you very much for sending me this, wishing me well times, well, well, good times, well, well, I do better when I'm able to write something out. See, none of my videos are scripted, but man, if they were, dude, oh, it'd be so much better. I'm a wordsmith, not on the fly. Thank you though, Roxanne. I, I do hope your family member, I'm um, going through cancer. Everything's going well there. And you guys will know a trend. Notice a trend. These are all like Christmas holiday, um, cause that's when I last went. And to be fair, most people don't, don't even know I have a PO box. So if you want, there's a link down in the description box below. Maybe I'll um, open up something you send on this thing. I was going to say the name of it, but we don't have a name. So it is. We got a little Christmas card from their puppies. You know, Olive and Appa. Oh, they're not even addressing me. That's so cute. Wishing you and your family happy holidays and a fantastic new year. Christian, we hope the new year will bring you lots of amazing things. And of course, content. Now, pay attention to the way they spell content. That's the way. That's some content. There's a, there's a silent H in there. But that's kind of what hangs up with the content. Love from the Netherlands. Oh, shoot. I was going to say hello or greetings in the Netherlands. Whatever. But now that I think about it, I don't know what your language is. And... Oddly enough, if I, I, it would just be offensive if I tried something. Simba, Sam, and Mer... Then in, or, or I'm pretty sure it's Mariel, the human. <laughs> oh, cool. I think they have uh, an Instagram, if you want to check that out, at Chocolate Lab Simba. I'm going to go show them some love. I think it's Mariel. I think. Thank you very much. Ooh. This is from Colorado. Oh my gosh, that's where I am. Ah, uh, Paper cut myself. I should have seen that one coming. <laughs> we have here the ancient scrolls. Actually, wow. No way. Is this... Is this their handwriting? Look at this. It, it feels like I'm in history class right now. And in the textbook, they have a little excerpt of like, from so-and-so's uh, diaries of the great Gettysburg Address. Hello, fruit. Of all the videos I respond to, it is the one where you talk about your minor OCD. Oh, I remember that one. I think it is because I cannot. Oh, I think it is because I count steps too. So I can relate. Yo, -ho, stair counting gang. Well, it's actually, you know, interesting. I've been doing a lot of self reflection recently um, through therapy. And then also just, um, you know, meditating on stuff and whatever, doing some introspection. And uh, I've come to realize that I have some minor OCD, but I 100% I have ADHD, but it manifests differently because of my obvious hereditary depression. Um, I just got a lot going on, you know, it is what it is. So I can relate. Been doing it since I was young, many moons ago. It sort of morphed into patterns and musical steps now but still counting numerically yeah no mine is what fours always in fours one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and i always try and end on a four or end on an even number 
So for instance, let me walk you through this. So I'm on the second story of my house, right? So we have stairs. Now they're like the, the U-shaped stairs, you know, like it goes halfway up, bends and then comes up half. So I know how to approach it. So when I'm going upstairs, before I hit the stairs, I have to count one step, go a two step, go three step, so that the first step I take is four. Because then I count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then on the four, I end on the little plateau where I then turn, walk four little steps, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, end at the top of the second story on the fourth step. It's weird, but that's just, that's just how it goes. Thanks for sharing that little tidbit of your life. Still watching your vids. Okay, well, that's good. Thanks. I hope you're still watching. I can't tell if this, I'm, I'm trying not to say too much just to make sure there's nothing personal. I literally just went to the PO box. This is dated October, 2019, a year and a half ago. That's why I was like, okay, well, they say they're still watching, but <laughs> and it's been a year and a half now. So who really knows? Because they mentioned in their article, like watching your new grind with destiny Two, And I was like, what, what the, f the only game I'm actually excited for is cyberpunk 2077. Oh ho, ho, no. Oh ho, no, no. Oh, I don't know your name. That's their name. So your guess is as good as mine. Uh, but I am so sorry. The date is 9th of October, 2019. I'm writing to Mr. Fruit. I'm so excited to play Cyberpunk 2077. Well, Fruit from the Future, dude. Woof. You can never go wrong with games developed and published by CD Projekt Red. <laughs> if he keeps digging, he'll end up in China. Is it you're something worried? You're next? You're, you're not? You're new? You're you've? Is it you've something you've met? In a year and a half. This is going to be like the Zodiac. The Zodiac um, whatever puzzles, whatever those things are. Which actually one of them just got solved, which was crazy. But I digress. Uh, oh! Oh! Wait! It is we've met. I can't figure out the rest of it. But it's because his name is Raul. Because it shows on the letter that I ripped. My bad. But I met him at my gym. Uh, where I used to live. If that's the guy I'm thinking of, and I'm pretty sure it is. Yo, okay. It's all coming together. Cause it's gonna say the the address on this was pretty close to where I used to live before. We got some more mail here. We can always open up some letters or like that. You guys wanna send me stuff. Um we can always open that up. Again, you know, this is pretty free form. Uh so I guess I'll just end this real quick with uh some dialogue about uh Among Us and what happened on the channel because it's no secret. So let's just backtrack a little bit. Channel ironically isn't about its worst place it's ever been. Um, the year is 2020, the month is August. Things aren't looking good. However, ironically, mentally, I'm in the best place with my channel, which doesn't make sense, but it's because I was literally having to come, I was coming to terms with the fact that that's where the channel was. There's no point in stressing about it every day. Finally making some time for myself outside of my job and it was weird like the channel wasn't doing great but it didn't devastate me like it normally did i was like this is okay we'll figure it out whatever it is what it is then among us comes along and blows up i am going i'm going in i'm going omega in as you guys know for like 40 45 days straight i only uploaded among us which might not sound weird but look back on my channel Aside from the very beginning, I've never uploaded something so exclusively to the channel. I'm a variety channel. You know, I, I, I variety is the spice of my life. So this was weird, but I was like, we're going to see what happens when we only play this, right? When people know what to expect and uh, spoilers, it went really well. We were averaging at least through the month of September, at least a million views per video. We were averaging a hundred thousand before. And in that one month, I gained, I think 400,000 subscribers is ridiculous. So it was crazy and it was awesome. And we were having tons of fun, me and my friend group. And it was great. You know, we all got to play and people like the dynamics. But the problem is, and here it all kind of comes, is the nature of Among Us. Because you need a group of realistically about 10 people, right? But with my friend group, especially the extended dream team, it's really hard to get everybody together. So that was a challenge. But then on top of that, what ended up happening was, and I won't say people, but... 
some of the people in the group started taking things a little too seriously or couldn't separate the game from reality because and i don't blame them i mean the whole game is literally trying to like deceive your friends lie to them gaslight them so some people you know when the round ended they're like, okay that was that round haha -ha, we're back we're friends let's do a new one and then some people just carried that with them understandable a lot of people would do it but so what that did was it created some strife in our friend group and so a lot of people were just like you know what just i'm just not gonna play and i was like i respect that it's for the best like i don't want this game to become a thing that like comes in between us so that happened and then it became a little bit harder to make among us content so then i was like okay i'll find some new people to make a new group but then every video started to do a little less better than the last and every comment is just where's x where's y play with your old group and it's like i would if i could but understandably they're all burnt out or they don't want to play and for a lot of them for me why i didn't get burnt out is the only time i played among us was when we recorded sessions every couple days every week so i mean still to this day i only have like 50 hours in game which considering all the content i made it's understandable like literally the only time i played was when i recorded with my friends a lot of the other people though would grind with their other friends or on their streams or with other people but they got really tired of it really fast so fast forward through all that on top of that, I'm seeing a little bit of a decline. It's harder to do stuff with my friends, to make those games happen. And then on top of that, like I said, I'm just a, I need variety. And it was driving me crazy. And so I started up on a little variety. And then honestly, it looked like on my channel, like Among Us was going down. I thought the craze was going down. So early August is where I started to pull back a little bit, mid August. Well. Screw me, who realized that uh, it'd still be going strong until about late November, early December. And it's petered out a, good, a decent bit. But I, I called that wrong. Um, and then interest just grew less and less on the channel. And then I wanted to return what it was, what I was normally doing because the I never wanted to just become an Among Us channel, right? I don't know. It, um, it really started stressing me out. Uh, uh, the numbers, got, mentally, it's like the channel is doing the best it has ever done. Like it, my channel went viral there and my channel hasn't really done something like that before, but my mental was in the dumpster. It was so strange. You would think that seeing every video get like a million now would be like, but it's this weird thing that YouTube does with you and numbers and analytics. I even went into it knowing what might happen and trying to prepare myself, but I couldn't like, I would see an Among Us video get 700,000 views and I'm like, this is it. Like what's wrong? This isn't doing well. Right now, if a video got 700,000 views, I'd be like, oh my God, that's incredible. That's nuts. But it would get to the point where like, you get this new high and both like figuratively and metaphorically. And it's like, oh, I got to chase this. Or now this is the bare minimum. And now I'm raising the bar. Even when I knew it was all only going to last a little bit, but I saw this like flash, like I kept comparing myself and I was doing really bad stuff. Like I said, mentally to myself, like, I was thinking, okay, if somebody else had the success right now, they would be able to catch this lightning in the bottle, run with it and grow it. Because if you look now on the channel, we're literally like right back to where we were before Among Us. It didn't have that lasting effect. I was hoping it would. And I was just so upset with myself because I was like, man, if somebody else was doing it, like I bet they would run. And then they could turn this into this and they would only keep growing and growing exponential. And it's just like, you can never settle. And I keep moving the goalposts for myself and a lot of therapy sessions. And it doesn't help that it was a game where you gaslight your friends. And so then my friends were getting upset. And so then when we were playing Among Us, I was trying to play, but at the same time, I'm thinking, is so-and-so having fun? Uh, it, it, am I not being fun? Am I being fair to this person? I need to worry about this person's quiet. Is something wrong? I'll message it. Like, I got a message privately from this person. Okay, well, they're, okay, they're leaving because of this. And then it just became... It, and then on top of that, it's just become harder to get sessions and not as many people are into it. And then we did modded Among Us finally with the old group. And that was so much fun. It was hilarious. But then so many people were like, this is boring. Go back to the old ones. We want to see normal. But it's like, bro, we did that. This is fun. So we're looking to do more modded Among Us. I guess there's really not a point to this whole rant. I guess my whole point is um, it was taxing. Um, what it did to the channel for that short period was incredible. But it's funny. September, we gained 400,000 subscribers. And since pretty much the beginning of October to this date, gross, I've lost 7,000 subscribers. I think even a little bit more. So at one point we hit 
like a little over 2.3 million subscribers. I'm now at 2.29 and I've been there. Like we're literally just slowly losing subs because people are like, where's the Among Us, whatever. So it was a blessing and a curse. It was an experiment. Um, I saw what I could do with it. And I think part of it is I could have continued with it a lot more easily if it was a game that, again, didn't require such a large, like if it was a solo game, like let's say that was my Minecraft channel. I can do plenty of that. I can have fun with that myself. I can make it interesting. I can, I don't know. It's just a lot harder to do that with that when you need, and my social anxiety and stuff has just been through the roof. And then on top of that, I didn't, everybody was telling me like, oh, you got to play with so-and-so and so-and-so. And, -so. and then I just got like an incredible imposter syndrome. And it's like, yeah, I'm this person that has like 2 million subs, but it feels like nobody knows me. And like, I don't want to be that guy that's just like, hey, dude, I just don't like to shoot my shot. And I respect people that do, but that's just not me. And it makes me so anxious. And I did it once trying to like tweet toast. It didn't work. And then of course my anxiety just took over and I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody saw that. It's so embarrassing. I never played with other people. I never diversified. And that was the thing. It's like the perfect game for networking, but oh, thinking about it. Oh, it's been, a, it's been an interesting past couple months. Among Us will still be here uh, every now and then. It especially depends on when we can get group sessions. It's going to be very similar to like Trouble in Terrorist Town. I always want to keep that around on the channel. It's just a matter of when can we get people together for this stuff to get content for it. Yeah, I promise uh, whatever we're going to call this, um, it's not going to involve this stuff, really. It, it'll be more lighthearted, I, I swear. It'll, it'll be spins and and woo and things. I don't know. And, it, and it, some parts of it might be games. Some parts might be IRL stuff. You know, all that kind of good stuff. But I just want something creatively to pursue on this channel that feels a little more personal. Like we're connecting a little bit more. Um, and then... I got that new Minecraft channel, which is a new creative endeavor. And then I'm working on some other projects outside of YouTube. So creatively, I'm feeling pretty inspired right now, which is good because Among Us didn't inspire me creatively. It was successful, but still just like, it didn't light a fire under me, which is also why I was upset with myself because I was like, you know, I imagined myself two years before, like 2018 Mr. Fruit, if this happened to him, he would have run with it. He would have been so much better. But now I feel jaded and burnt out. And then this comes at this time and it's a blessing and a curse because it's incredible what it's doing. But at the same time, I feel so bad because I just feel like I can't put myself into this right now. So uh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, uh, that's this variety thing. It's the content. So leave some suggestions down below. Feel free to tweet them at me. When we figure out a series name too, we can make it so that you can comment or tweet at me with a suggestion and then the hashtag to make it a lot easier to see and then I'll, I'll write them up there and we'll have fun with it and then i'll try and write usernames too if i remember when i write them down um but that's this thing thanks for watching lots of rambling that's what i do thanks for supporting me love you have yourselves a fantastic sunday there should also be a new podcast um on all our audio platforms but also the gg over easy podcast channel go and check that out today That'll be out later today, I think. So anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell.